uh, for Coleman and Terrence, ball moved seemingly really, really well. What changed offensively for you guys to, to have that? Um, we just found a way to get into our sets. Um, in the recent games, uh, we have found ourselves not being able to get in our sets, but we just found out a way um, to start the possession and get into it, and we executed. Yeah, um, we just in practice we just had emphasis on on the execution. Uh, I I feel like at times uh, we've had plays, multiple plays where uh, you know we kind of uh, kind of broke plays off uh, in, in the previous game. So we just had an emphasis on execution, getting to our spots and uh, flowing right into offense and stacking plays as well. So. Terrence said it before this game, you and Dane both said that you guys would win. What gave you guys kind of the confidence in this game after the last few weeks? Um, I feel like we're going to win every game. Um, I know we start, we were three and, we were 0-3, and, and we, we dug ourselves in a hole, and I felt like this game was a must-win for us. And we, we practiced hard and stayed together, and we got the win. Coleman, a lot of guys have been encouraging you to shoot more. You had career high six threes tonight and, and no hesitation. What was key to, to get in that mode and be able to make them like you did? I just knew that they uh, they kind of struggled with pick and pop. Uh, you, know, um, you know, if we set good screens and got downhill in our actions, uh, I knew that I'd be available to pop. And you know, they they've been harping on me for you know stop pump faking and shoot it, shoot it. So I just kind of just been in the gym working, just my catch and shoot. Uh, three, so I, I felt more comfortable out there shooting it. So, yeah. Uh, Terrence, Jaden, for for you guys trying to shut down Chuck, you seemed like it went, went pretty well. He got some at the end there, but w what's kind of the key to slowing down a player of that caliber defensively? Um, just being just being physical and aggressive with him. Uh, when we watch film. Uh, the highlights of good players that we see, they they're normally doing whatever they want and not being pressured and Sincere did a really good job of doing that and we had a team effort of playing playing good defense, finishing the possession with a rebound and we, we held him to however many points we had. He got a couple shots late, um, but he, he finished the game. Oh, yeah, 22, but it was all, most of it was late in the game. Terrence, did the motion offense a little bit different? Do you like the looks this was giving you th three level score today? Mid range, getting to the basket. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's honestly the same offense we've been running. Uh, we just executed and just running the play all the way through. And when it was my time, uh, my teammates, uh, they liked me being aggressive, and I, uh, I didn't force anything. Uh, I made the right play. Sometimes I missed some guys, but I was just aggressive and I ran, got it through within the offense. This for Coleman and Jaden. Coach yesterday talked about just needing a win to get that swagger back and get that feeling. Uh, do you guys feel like you got that? And how did you guys kind of get to this point after a couple of tough weeks here? Yeah, I think uh, anytime you get a win, uh, especially in the Big Ten, it's 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 super important. Uh, every game matters. Um, so in, any win, whether it's Wisconsin, Nebraska, Michigan, any any team in the Big Ten, uh, it, it means a lot to get a win because winning's hard in this league. So. Um, it, it's it's super important for us. Uh, I feel like uh, now we can really get on get on a roll here and you know watch film, clean up mistakes, and and just from from here on out, just kind of kind of play mistake free, uh, lock in, and and uh, that will lead us to success like we we've been doing the past two three years. So um, I just feel like um, like TJ said, we dug ourselves in a hole early, so. Um, the key for us was just staying together, uh, staying together and not giving up, and uh, and just practicing hard and just playing with effort. Like Coach Underwood told us before the game, if we just come out and play hard, play with effort, then shots gonna fall, everything gonna fall into place. So uh, that's I feel like that was the uh, key for us to uh, getting this win today. Derek, Jaden, there seems to be more on your plate now. A point guard with Sky not here. How are you approaching that, and what led to success in this game? Um, I feel like um, my teammates trusted me, and I trusted my teammates. Uh, uh, coach always pushed me to be more of a leader and lead the team, be a, uh, take that, take on that point guard role. Um, like, for example, if you don't call a play, I call a play. Like, take control of the offense and stuff like that. So I feel like I'm stepping into that role, and uh, I feel like I got a lot to learn, but uh, I'll be fine. And, uh, I feel like I can help us win at a point guard. Right. 
So Terrence, after the Gulf Western game, you talked to a bunch of us and you said, hey, we're going to win this game on uh, on Saturday. What went into that mindset for you? Um, Like I said earlier, I'm confident in my team and I know we're capable of winning every game we go into. And we all we all contributed to the win today and executed offense, played good defense. And I mean, once we were we were wounded, like, er, er, against like to everybody, we were all breaking, and we seen Sky leaving, and everybody assumed that we just like were broken and torn apart. But we really just stayed together, and we that brought we. It's bad that he not bad, but it's our whatever Sky's going through. Um, we we're supporting them, but that kind of brought us together more, and I felt like that showed in the West Coast game today. Coleman still gives a lot of energy during that run there in the middle of the, the first half. How kind of therapeutic was it for you guys to see the ball going like that? Oh, it's great because uh, I love when Coleman shooting the ball. <laughs> when he shoots it uh, with confidence and not worrying about uh, like shot faking, uh, and he, he's a great player. Um, but I just when he's shooting the ball, we're a lot better, and he shot it with confidence today and it was six for nine from three. Yeah, it just felt good having the energy in the State Farm Center. Um, and the fans, you know, coming out today and supporting us. Uh, I know it's been a little negative on Twitter, but um, I, I, I just appreciate how, you know, the guys, people here just stuck with us and, and supported us and brought a great amount of energy tonight. So shout out to the fans. Coleman, you guys have obviously shown you can beat good teams so far. What do you think, after being here the last couple of years, is the key to consistency moving forward? I think. Uh, like I talked about earlier, really execution, um, you know, not breaking plays off. You know, we're not going to beat teams playing one-on-one. -on -one. Um, attention to scouting report. Uh, I think RJ did a great job with uh, locking, trailing the shooters. Uh, we were worn over screens. Um, just really paying attention to scouting report and just, uh, just all out playing hard. Uh, I think that's what you can control, your energy, um, you know, not worrying about other things, just going out, playing hard. Um, because, like I, like I mentioned earlier, too, the league is so tough. Um, it, it's really, you know, rebounds, playing hard, and just the basic things like that. So paying attention to scouting report, playing hard, rebounding, it's, it's all part of winning in this, in, this, in this league. So, In the middle? You guys combined for nearly 60 points tonight. How does that kind of move forward with you guys as, as confidence as a team? And what kind of confidence do you give you guys individually to <clears throat> keep doing stuff like this? Um, I feel like our confidence has always been there. Um, like I said, we just executed the offense and ran everything, and we made we made the right reads and got and got guys open shots, coming in the threes, uh, sharing the ball. And with this team, it can be anyone's night. Um, anybody can go and go for twenty. Uh, but we just shared the ball and stayed together, and it happened to be me and Coleman's night. We were aggressive. Coleman, you guys have been trying to remake your offense in recent weeks. How much of this is a weight lifted off your shoulders? Because Brad said he's seen it in practice, but to have it translate to a game finally, is that a, a relief for you guys? Um, I, I definitely think so. Um, I think times like, uh, I think the experience was shown a lot of times as far as things like creating advantages. Um, you know, we were, we were, we were kind of trying to get to five out, and uh, it was really kind of just based off of feel and feel for the game, really. Um, just trying to create advantages, and I think it was just hard for us to, like, understand what people were doing and getting people in the right spots. So I think uh, the offense we're running now is, is much simpler. Um, it will put everybody in the proper positioning. Um, you know, we got Dane rolling high lows, uh, seals, duck ins. Uh, everybody coming off uh, ball screens, uh, so I think it's it's just more suited for us, and it it it, it it's just easier for us to kind of get a feel for rather than kind of play more free. You know, it's it's kind of more structured. So, yeah, Terrence, you mentioned maybe the perception of unraveling a, a little bit. You guys, for you and Coleman, like what did you two do as leaders to make sure that things didn't unravel after those rocky weeks? Um. We just made sure the guys stayed together and, and went went hard in practice. Like 
I remember Coleman uh, saying in practice, we were practicing, and he was like, come on, let's like pick the energy up, uh, making sure we stay focused and finish the practice throughout. And just everybody uh, contributing uh, to just going hard, listening to Coach Brad, buying into what he's saying and telling us. Um, that just played a big part, uh, everyone listening and being able to be coached and buying it together. Yeah, I think um, I think I, I think the biggest part is kind of maturing from uh, you know me personally, uh, just gr like growing from you know if coach says some you know being being able to get coached and and taking it and not putting everything on myself. I think a lot of time I was just putting pressure on myself and 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 kind of shied away or got got a little too uh, emotional with. Kind of speaking my mind to and having the not the not the right approach to you know kind of leading the group, but I think now uh, just having a more positive vibe and more energy um, has has kind of brought us together more and and just shown uh, the team that you know I'm 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 trying to win and I support everybody here. So I think I think that's been the, the proper approach so far. So <coughs> anything else for the players? All right, thank you. Man.